This is the Basque flag. The Basque speak one of the most interesting languages in all of Europe, and in their language, it is called the Ikurina. This word comes from the older Basque word Ikur, which can be translated into English as a mark or a sign. This is quite interesting because this matches the names of several other flags used by minority groups. So the Catalans, for instance, call their flag the Senyera, the Senyera being related to the English word for sign, which itself is a word from French, and the Faroese, whose flag they call the Merki, which of course is related to the English word mark, which is the cognate, but then in the Germanic languages. So the Basque flag then is often being compared to the Union flag because of its similar design. And it may be that this flag was adopted at a time when the Union flag of the British was very commonly seen in seafaring and the Basques were a very seafaring people. But this isn't confirmed. What we do know is that it was designed in 1894 by the Basque nationalist party who wanted to have a flag to represent the area of Biscay. Now, the first flag design looked something a bit like this, but soon they decided that it looked better with these slightly thicker bars being used instead, and so this is the flag that we still see currently used to this day. Now, there are various theories for what the different colors on the Basque flag mean, but the most commonly spouted ones are that red stands for the people of Biscay, green stands for the Guernica Oak, which was a place of law giving for the Basques in a significant cultural spot, and that the white stands for the Catholicism, the strong faith of the Basque people. Now, as I mentioned, this flag was initially only meant to be for the area of Biscay, which is one of the Basque regions in today's Spain. But eventually, this flag came to be used for the entire Basque countries. However, early on, it was suggested that a different flag should be used that would be representative of the entire Basque country and not just of Biscay. But I think we can all agree that the one on the left looks quite a lot better. And so they went with that in the end. Now, this flag actually did become more official in 1933, being adopted as the flag of the Basques. But during the Spanish Civil War, when the Basques got even more autonomy, the flag was actually adopted as the official flag of the autonomous community of the Basque country inside the Spanish Republic. However, because the Republic would go on to lose the war and the Basque country would lose its independence in 1938, this flag was actually banned as a sign of the traitors, according to the nationalists whom they had fought the war against, as they had banned just as they banned many other flags that had been used during the Spanish Civil War. However, even under Franco's dictatorship, the group ETA or Euskadita Ascatasuna would be the Basque separatists who have been designated as terrorists during this time. They continued to use the flag and some of their earliest actions actually involved planting the flag at various public places, which was a criminal offense during these years. However, even after Franco died in 1975, the law wasn't removed banning the Basque flag. So in 1976, in at one of the derbies between the two Basque football teams, Athletic Club Bilbao and Real Sociedad, the two teams marched onto the pitch holding the Basque flag together. This was quite something because these were serious rivals at the time. It'd be like if Newcastle and Sunderland came out with the same flag in a movement of solidarity. And because of course, this was against the law. So everyone held their breath while they waited what the police inside the stadium would do. But to the credit, the police allowed the game to go on, and this marked a changing point in Basque history, as the following year, in 1977, the ban on the Basque flag was lifted, and in 1979, this became the official flag of the Basque country. So are there any other flags that are related to the Basque flag? Well, it does actually appear on one other unofficial flag that is, however, based on an official coat of arms. And that is on this one, together with an older flag of Brittany or the Bretons and the Normans or for Normandy. This is on the flag of Saint-Pierre and Miquelon or Saint-Pierre et à Miquelune as it's known in Basque, where many Basque people came and settled. It's an island off the coast of North America. 
All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching this video about the Basque flag and the history and meaning behind it. It'll be interesting to cover this as I've covered several of the nations of the United Kingdom and I thought maybe I can go over to Spain and look at some of their flags and over to other places in Europe as well with interesting flags. Anyway, let me know in the comments below which other flags would you like to find out about and I will see if I can make a video on that in the future. Es que casco and I will see you in the next one.